So I, I was, uh, I'm happy to, to have seen the latest figures uh, during this week and uh, there's a continued strong demand in retail investments in Germany. It is um, still still increasing and the focus is on, on retail assets compared to other asset classes like office and residential because uh, more than 60% of the potential investors say that the retail business is more independent of the eco economic conditions and economic changes. And uh, the focus is on, on retail parks because uh, this is regarded to be a very sustainable asset also in comparison or in the competition system to the online trade. And more than 80% of the potential retail, <coughs> sorry, retail investors, they intend to invest in retail parks. And we've seen that uh, the uh, footfall in retail parks over the last year has increased, whereas um, in the shopping centers and uh, high, street, high street retail uh, properties it has decreased slightly or has at least been under pressure. It is like it is for years regarded as a safe haven and apart from this it is uh, due to the fact that the German economy is regarded to be stronger than, than those in France or in, in Great Britain, for example. So it is still producing some, some interesting uh, yields uh, compared to other countries and um, especially in, in the retail business there's still money to be spent by, by uh, the population and the focus will be what, on the one hand from the expansionists on the mid-sized cities in between 100 and 500,000 inhabitants and likewise um, uh, with the investors who tempt because the risk profile hasn't changed so much. They intend to invest in core properties, but they switch because in the A cities there's no product any longer available into the B cities and it is the so-called other strategy. So the A location in a B city or the B location in an A city.